Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D effect in Scratch. So this can basically work on anything you like, from an arrow to a button, and any really shape you want. And I have a mystery shape at the end, so try and guess what it is in the comments, and I'm going to be revealing it, so don't forget to stick to the end. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and let's get on with the video. So the first thing you need to do is put a when green flag clicked. And of course, since we're going to be having the 3D effect going down, we need to move the sprite up a little bit. So we'll go to X0 and Y, say, minus 50, because we'll be rendering from the bottom to the top. So go to My Blocks and Make a Block. So we want to make as many clones as we like in one frame only, because that's what my blocks are for. So we can create clones of amount and then put an input that says amount and run without screen refresh. So don't forget the run without screen refresh. This is very important. So press OK. And you need to add that new block you made, create clones of amount, to the end of the when green flag click script. So now you can choose how many clones you want, but I think um, what looks good will be, say, 50. I think that looks good. So once you've created some clones, we need to hide it since when making clones, we don't want to show the original shape. Then you need to set ghost effect to 100. So that means it will be invisible. Then you need to repeat the amount of clones you're going to make. So repeat amount, which is 50. So as you can see, the 50 goes to the amount. And you can change it to whatever you like. So right now, it says repeat 50. Then you need to create clone of myself. Change Y by however many you want the distance between two of them to be. So let's say 2 looks good. And then you need to change your ghost effect by, listen carefully, put a minus sign in there, and then put a divide sign in the second input. So now this will make a negative number once you put zero there. Then you put 100, which is how far the ghost effect can go, and you divide by the amount. So right now, this will give us a value of minus two, which means that for our 50 clones, perfect gradual ghost effect between zero and 100. Then you need to put a when I start as a clone, go to front layer. If you don't do this, it causes some weird bug. Show, because remember we hid them earlier. And right now you can see we do have a bit of a 3D effect, but we need to put a forever loop and you need to turn say 15 degrees. Whoa, that is too fast. Okay, okay, that's not good. So instead of that, maybe you could try having a multiply in here and a minus sign in the first input. So if you didn't know the scratch hack, which I think I've covered in another video, if you do a key right arrow pressed minus key left arrow pressed, it results in a one or zero based on right or left. Each one cancels the other one out perfectly. So if I'm holding the right arrow, it will be one minus zero, which will give us one degree. So we can multiply that by three because that's way too slow. If you press the green flag, it is turning, but there is a bit of a problem. So go to costumes and make sure that your costumes have outlines. So let's give this one a big outline. I know that looks odd. But now, as you can see, we have a 3D effect. Look at that arrow, guys. And you can control it with the arrow keys. It also works on circles, just the same. I'll just give it a border. And there you go. Kind of looks odd. You need to add more details to the side. Maybe we can have like that. See? It works perfectly. And then we have my goofy -ass shape. If we add a ring to it, then it also becomes 3D. 
and it literally works with anything. You can even try it with like, I don't know, some random dance move from the sprite sheet. And yeah, you have a 3D Anina pop, though I doubt you'll ever have to use it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. And this was the mystery shape. Comment down below if you guessed it. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.